Well, greetings, my disappointingly mostly male audience. Welcome to another video. This time, I'll be taking a look at the Shinobu Gucho from the Demon Slayer line. Here's a recovery named Bam Presto. Yeah, baby. So, here we have a figure. The box, not much assembly required. Just need to pop the head on, pop the sword into a hand, and put it on the base, and voila, you have a fully assembled master. So here we have the face, and I think it looks pretty damn good. Um, it does look a lot more screen accurate compared to the 1.0 version, which wasn't too bad of a figure actually. But I will say in their recent uh, figures, they have really nailed the sculpt and paint of the uh, faces and likeness of the characters, and it, this one looks absolutely glorious. Um, I love how the uh, eyes are painted with the uh, different shades of purple in there. Looking at her face from the front, it does look a little bit creepy, right? But then again, she is a little bit creepy in the show, I will say, and doob -doob -doob. Anyway, there's the hair. It looks absolutely glorious. Uh, it does have the purple on the ends there, which looks yeah, pretty good, like it's painted purple. Did well. And then there's the back of the head, looks like a back of the head, it's got the nice uh, butterfly hair pieces there. Anyway, moving on down, there's the body, she's got the buttons which are all painted gold, very neatly too. Uh, there's no paint splotches there out of anything, which is uh, glorious as well. And then we got the coat which has that sort of butterfly look to it, with the uh, you know butterfly wings detailing in there. A bit weird, but looks good I guess, and I love how the... Uh, green and the pink does sort of fade. All the detailing is just painted on, not sculpted or anything, but it does look pretty good if you ask me. Anyways, let's go to look at that sword if you would just... Holding on. There we go. And unfortunately a common issue with these figures is that the uh, sword it does come a little bit warped. Um, I'm sure with a blow dryer you can warp that back into place. But yeah, very nicely detailed sword there. The handle's been all detailed. Uh, the weirdly shaped blade, the you know only sharp at the very ends there, which uh, yeah, looks pretty good. I believe there's a little bit of light silver at the very end there. I could be wrong. It might be the speed of lighting there. No, it's definitely there. Anyway, moving further down, it does wear the very baggy pants, and then there's the lower legs. She's wearing flip flops. Or sandals, I should say. Which, yeah, well, looks pretty good, and then just a simple black basis. All these figures come with simple black bases. But anyway, moving on to the articulation. And on with some size comparisons. So here we have Shinobubu next to um, Kevin, a musical, Michael, the Marvel Legends Kang, the Conk, the Bull, Mercury, the Mercury Mabets Bull. Oh, it evolved. So, overall, I think this is a really good figure. Uh, it does look a lot nicer than the uh, original Shobubu, which, it, it's a good figure in itself, but I think the 2.0 is an improvement with the sculpt. The paint looks, I don't know, the paint is pretty much the same, but I'm just going to say, yeah, the paint as well, just so I can list off more things. Um, so yeah, if you're a fan of the character, fan of the series, fan of collecting girls with black and purple hair, purple eyes, red lipstick, butterfly themed coat then dare I say this might be the perfect figure for you but anyway that does it with the video hope you enjoyed like subscribe Monday bye